forgot that my uh, camera got stopped. There's a second little fridge right here. And here's your pantry. It's a decent size pantry. And that opens up into this sunroom that we had some questions about as far as insulation goes and all that. Well, with it being wide open like this, it's going to it's going to be basically the same temperature of the house but a little bit warmer in the summer and a little bit cooler is my guess. But it is under a real roof line. It's just with this many windows. Um, it's going to be hard to keep it the same temperature. That's why they have that window unit right there. Go back through here. Uh, this is where your, your laundry room is. It's a very small, but it'll fit a washer and dryer. And there is a, another room over here that is, um, well, get this light turned on for you. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Now there's a room right here. It's trimmed out nicely. It's got a different type of wood floor. And this is, this is just a manufactured laminate is what this is. And it has a bathroom as well. Um, you might call this a second master because it's pretty large, it's got a large closet and it's got its own bathroom. Okay, um, there's a closet here. And then there's a closet closet. All right, let's walk through the rest of the house and see what we see. Secret compartment here. It's a very, very narrow uh, staircase here. And the ceiling on the stairs is not really high. It's, I mean, I'm not hitting my head on it, but um, I don't know how, if you wanted to make this a quilting room, I don't know how you would get that long arm quilt machine up here. That would be a challenge. If not impossible, I mean, you, I guess you could break the machine down somehow and, and get it up here. And here's what the room looks like. It's a long room, wood floors, and low ceilings. It is air conditioned well though. Oh, we just walked into the attic, didn't we? Huh. Well, it's quite an attic. All right. And they sprayed some that might be a spray on radiant barrier that they've done there. I don't think they would have just sprayed silver paint, but maybe they did. Um, and there's lots of insulation here. I didn't show you this on the other house because I didn't have the easy access to the attic like this. Okay, so that's this room. If you can get the quilt machine up here, it would probably work. And then here's the other workshop through here. It's a step down. This was the origin originally the garage. So, and this is uh, linoleum flooring that looks like wood is what this is. Um, this might be big enough for a, a great woodworking shop. So what they did is they built a two-car garage out there and took this and converted it into a uh, into an, a, a workshop. 
It's not hot in here right now, but I don't see any air conditioning vents to keep this place cool. So that would be something you'd have to add. I mean, all okay, there is a uh, window unit. I'm sorry. Okay. So this would be cooled by the window unit. And I, this, I'm sure you could find a use for this. This is just a walk-in area. Okay. Let's go look at the bedrooms. Back through the entryway. So from the entryway, we go into this room. This is the main living room. And that's the sun room over there. So we took a peek at this earlier, but I didn't say anything about it. Uh, that is a gas fireplace with gas logs in it. It's that same uh, real manufactured wood floor thing. It goes through most of the house. There's bedroom one. Huge windows throughout this whole house. The closet is, I'm guessing, relatively sh uh, shallow. Yeah, it's just a closet. Nothing to write home about just yet. Hall bath. And then it's a larger bedroom. Let me brighten that up for you. There we go. Okay. You know the this may be set up. I'm I'm just looking here at how this is set up. It looks like it's set up to share the um, hall bathroom with the master bedroom because this is not the master bedroom, but it has its own bathroom. And that hall bathroom there connects to this. Okay, this is just a bedroom. Okay. Vanity there. Back into the hall. Okay, that's that's the issue with this house. The master bedroom is small and or uh, non-existent. In a house this size and this price range, we'll, we'd like to see a, uh, a larger master bedroom. It would take some customization in order to get this to that level um, from this probably largest bedroom to this one here there'd have to be some sort of a modification to make this work if a large master bedroom is something that you're really needing but that that may be why the home is still on the market And there's your backyard. Let's take a look here. It's a small deck, and um, the sun is just beating down on it right now. It's early afternoon, but by the evening, this will have a little bit of shade from that sunroom. But it, yeah, the sun is just beating down on this right now. This pool is fiberglass. Um, I don't know a ton about fiberglass pools. I don't, I don't, I, I guess you have to draw your own conclusions on it. The one thing that I do know about them is that if you drain them, they can float. So they have to stay full of water. Because um, if they float, then you can't get them back down or they crack. So I, I don't know a ton about them. I, I do see them every now and then. I've never owned one and I've never dealt with one's maintenance before. Here's an overview of the yard. It's not a huge yard, but there's a lot of, I mean, there's plenty of space back here, I guess. It's just not a gigantic yard. 
because of the garage they built here. And this garage has a shop in it as well. So you got the two car entry there from, let's slow down a little bit, from that gate you have this entry to the two car garage and then in there is another little work area. It looks like they had planned on closing it off and then realized that they didn't want to. But this could also just be for storage. There's nothing wrong with extra storage, right? And that's really the whole walk through the house. This one was a little uh, was a little more uh, difficult for me to navigate because I thought the master bedroom was on the opposite of the house that it's actually on. So that that room that I called a second master 